Housing affordability is the worst it's been since 1989. Typical mortgages are up $680 a month compared to last year. Pending home sales in the South down about 20%. This is new data from the National Realtors Association. This morning, we are trying to figure out what is the picture like where we live. So this morning, we have a live interview with Rick McGill, the president of the Golden Triangle Realtors Association in Columbus. He's worked in real estate for 44 years and covers eight counties, including Starkville, Columbus, and West Point. Good morning, Mr. McGill. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. How are y'all? Doing all right, sir. Thank doing you. Well. It's Friday. We're doing pretty good. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Amen. <laughs> so uh, what's happening with the housing market in Northeast Mississippi right now? Well, here in Northeast Mississippi, in our area, in, in general, we're still we're still strong right now. Now it has begun to slow down. Of course, anytime you have an increase in your interest rates, you're going to see a slowdown. But it's it's nowhere near what we've seen before, like in the 2008, you know, 2009 period. It's beginning to slow down a little bit. It's still a seller's market. It's not a buyer's market. But our numbers are still good. Our numbers are very good, as a matter of fact. Interesting. Now, Zillow says that prices for typical Mississippi homes are about 15% higher now than a year ago. So what do you think of that estimate? That's 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 pretty close. I, I looked at ours uh, from the time period of January 1 until now versus 21 same time period. And we're right there at that 14% across the board is where we're at in our in our Golden Triangle area. Most of that came in the springtime when there was an extreme shortage mm -hmm. of properties and it was a, a frenzy and properties were selling over what they were on the market for. That has slowed some. We still see a little bit of it in, in our concentrated areas like Starkville and Caledonia here in, in, in Columbus area, but it has slowed. So I think we're tapering down a little bit on that right now. Okay. So now 6% seems to be a number that I'm hearing right now. Would you say 6% is a high, low, or average rate? And do you think it could push some folks out of the market? Well, guys, I'll be honest to tell you, you opened this interview with saying I've been in it 44 years. I remember the years when it was 18.5%. So 6% is not bad, okay? Mm -hmm. It's bad compared to the 2.75 that we did have at one time here. And what that is doing in my opinion, is pushing more of the first time home buyer out of that market than anything. Anytime the rates start going up, the first person or the first client that it hurt is that first time home buyer. And I'm hoping that we will come up with some sort of subsidy or something to help that first time home buyer because rent is terrible too. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. We have talked a lot about those buying a home, but what's going on with rent costs in the area? I know, I mean, I will admit I'm a renter and it, the rent is high, And but will they get worse for those who are renting or who may be renting soon? I feel like it's going to get worse. What has happened, because there is no building, because of the building cost, even though building costs are starting to come down just a little bit, we've seen lumber come down just a little bit, but the existing homes are selling and with this higher interest rate, some of the people can't afford that, so they're going to the rent. Well, the rental situation, I've, I've spoken with two rental companies here in our area and I own rental property. Mm -hmm. And the rates have gone up unreal. And, it, and when you go into areas such as Nashville, Atlanta, and then of course California, you could, I, I watched a segment uh, uh, on, on the news the other day you know, California, they're paying four thousand dollars a month for nine hundred square foot. I, that's just I, that's I can't fathom that right there. Right. But also, even in our area, rent is up, and and the rental market has tightened up extremely. Mm -hmm. So we're we we're in a crunch in that rental market. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have this morning. Speaking with Rick McGill, president of the Golden Triangle Realtors Association in Columbus. Thank you for your time this morning, sir. Thank y'all. Have, have a great day. day.